Let me see the hand of everybody in the room who knows that you are saved. Oh my God, what a beautiful sight. Now, what the bishops of Arkansas... 
Arkansas is doing on February 27th at 7.30. They are having a rally to help sponsor this great event. We need you at the Greater New Bible Way in North Little Rock on February the 27th at 7.30. And I want to do this, Bishop. We will ask you to come back to Little Rock to join us for the National Men's Conference in April and May the 2nd. We look to see you. That's what we just said. We need for you to go back to your churches, to your district, to your jurisdiction, to your family, to your friends, and let them know that the National Men's Conference not the state, not the district, the national men come. It's coming to Little Rock. We look to see you there. God bless you. We love you with the love of God.
God is moving on the inside. How many of you believe that? God is moving regardless of what it looks like. And I tell you, I'm just seeing, uh, you know, in the spirit, I can see where God is doing some great things in the lives of his people. And I'm so glad to be one of his. How many of you glad to be one of his? Amen. I want you to follow with me today from the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. And we'll begin reading at that first verse of Isaiah the prophet, chapter 6. When you got it, shout amen. amen. Isaiah chapter 6, read, and I'm reading from a study Bible, so my words may vary. It said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, mm -hmm. and his robe filled the temple. Seraphim st were standing above him. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called, one called to another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, and his glory filled the whole earth. The foundation, well, I'm going to stop there, right there. And his glory filled the earth. I want to speak to you on today, and you may be seated. Thank you for acknowledging the word of God. I want to speak to you today on God's call for holiness. All right, sir. God's call for holiness. 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 Or God called you unto holiness. All right, sir. Holiness seemed to be a word of the past in the day in which we live in now. Holiness seemed to be something that we read about but don't believe it's something that we should be about. But holiness is who God is, for God is holy. And that year that King Uzziah died was approximately 740 B.C. He remained a leper until the day he died. And as we find out that King Uzziah got above himself, and we'll find that in the book of 2 Chronicles. Chapter 26, verse 18 through 21. How he was king, but yet he did something that he was not qualified to do or chosen to do. Sometime in our positions that we hold, we think that we're above the law. But there's not one today that can withstand God. And no matter who you are today, Whatever title or position you hold in the body of Christ, it is subject to God's approval. We may have been approved by man, but not necessarily approved by God. Because holiness is a requirement and not a choice. Holiness is something that is the very nature of God. Holiness and holy is who he is. All right. yes. Somebody say amen. amen. If you trust him. And I said that, say this, whatever that situation is, whatever your need, your personal need to God. Are you looking for a church where love flows because God is in control? A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7 p.m.